Namaskar everyone. In preparation for the upcoming retreat, which I'm sure you're all very excited about, the essential teachings of Sri Vasudeva, we have a chance to get to know our facilitators a little bit better. So I'm sure many of you know Madhavi from the work that she's been doing as a facilitator over the many years she's been with Blue Star. But now we have the chance to get to know her a little more personally. Now, during this retreat, you're specifically going to be sharing with us on the very first day, and you're going to be talking to us about our multidimensional nature. What excites you about this subject? It absolutely does, because, um, you know, to go from this, this idea, when I, before I met Rudy, right, this idea that who I am was this, this body, and I certainly had, had thoughts and emotions and, and, and all of that, but they then discover there was more to this. That there are all these other levels of being, and I can play in all of them, and this, this is where the excitement and the joy comes um, to enjoy the play, because the play requires all of these elements, and I can choose whichever one I want. Uh, to, to experience the world. And that even when I come out of this body, I can still play in any one of these levels. So it has opened up my world so exactly. I can't wait to share with, with the wider group. It's going to be fun. Can you tell us a little bit more about yourself? Gosh, that's always a very difficult question, isn't it? What do you say? Um, I think I, I'll start with, uh, with meeting Gurudev in, in 1994. Seems like such a long time ago, but in a way it isn't. I, um, I went back and, and started to look at um, some of my journals over the years. And um, it's incredible what, how integrated my life has been with the teaching from the time I met him. Um, and it seemed like if everything I was looking for was right there. So it sounds like you have been very immersed in the teachings of Blue Star, of course. How do you think that you have grown personally as a result of these teachings and as a result of having Guruji in your life? I think I have I have changed enormously in terms of personality. Before I met him, I was very quiet, very shy. I never spoke to anybody. I didn't even have a friend. My best friend was my sister. I didn't even know I didn't have a friend until she told me. You know, she said, ah, we had a sister, sister conversation. She said, I think you need to make a friend. And I thought, really? A friend? <laughs> the concept was incredible. And when, when we say a friend, now my understanding of what a friend is uh, because of Brody. Um, the, the, the marvelous relationship I have with him. I said, the same way I relate to him, I should relate to everyone else. And to go from that, you know, introverted by person to think, well, any, any person, the Blue Star family would be my friend. Can you tell me a little bit about what the value of having a Sadhguru in your life is. That's really important because what I was looking for, I had read, I read a lot of scriptures before meeting him. I, 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 I read a lot of books, I met a lot of teachers, but I was looking for somebody who was living the teachings, who, who manifested it in every moment. And I absolutely observed everything that he did. And, um, you know, we can hear what, what it is to be loving. We can hear what it is to be vital. We can hear what it is to, to live from an expansive space. We can hear those words, but to see somebody who can do it and somebody who can tell me, hey, wait a minute, what you're doing, that, that, that is what limited consciousness is. And this is how you can expand it. And to meet me right where I am and to tell me the very next step. Incredible. 